said to have come from the treasures of King Solomon. One day, while the prince was on a hunting expedition with his men, fate stepped in. The prince chased the wild stag up the hill. But when he reached the top, he suddenly caught sight of a beautiful island across the sea. He knew at once that he must go there. After preparations were made and provisions gathered, the prince addressed his men from the deck of his vessel. Today, we depart on a voyage of discovery. A voyage to create a new city that will endure the ages. But as they journeyed toward the island, the sky began to darken. Soon they were engulfed in the most vicious storm they had ever seen. Dark forces seemed to conspire against them. The prince's men were terrified. Certain that they were doomed. The prince, however, knew what he must do. He removed the beautiful crown from his head and threw it into the waves as a gift to the sea king. Immediately, the waters calmed, and the prince and his men were allowed to continue on to the island of his fascination. As the prince surveyed his new surroundings, he was confronted by an incredible beast. At first, the prince did not know what to expect. But when he looked into the lion's eyes, a moment of understanding and respect passed between them. And then, the lion was gone. The prince again addressed his men. In this place, I will build a city the center of a great nation, and I will call it the Lion City, to honor the spirit of the beast who guards these shores. Henceforth, this land shall be known as Singapura. And that is how Singapore came to be. For centuries, Singapore has worn the